You are now listening to Scheduling Fate, hosted by author and counseling astrologer, Jamie McGee. For more information, please go to schedulingfate.com. Hi there, Pisces and Pisces Rising. Welcome to November. All right, so your top three focuses for this month have a lot to do with your local environment and where you want to go from here, your career and your reputation, and your passions. But there's also a degree of endings and beginnings that you're working with. So let's dive in and talk about why. Now, as we kick off with November, we have a lot of energy happening at the same time. And it's energy that you are definitely feeling at the end of October. On November 1st, we have a new moon in Scorpio. Now, this has to do with new horizons, new directions, your convictions, your beliefs. It's in flow with who you are as an individual, but also things that you love without condition. And a new moon energy invites you to set intentions, to set goals, to say, you know what, this is where I am, but this is where I want to be. And what do I need to change to get there? And with that Scorpio moon, this is a psychological, deep, shadowy work. So don't be afraid to go deep and dig up things and say, this is definitely what I want to change. Now, along that same area, on November the 2nd, we do have Mercury moving into Sagittarius. So this is going to highlight your career, your reputation, how you're known in the world, your authority figure, your sense of purpose, or authority figures in your life, even something with your parents, your bosses. But something I want you to keep in mind with this energy, it's a great energy to communicate with, to expand, to speak your truth, to kind of reach out and, and just learn more. But between November the 7th and November the 25th, Mercury is going to travel across its shadow. And that means that that's the area that it's going to review. We're going to have a retrograde that begins on the 25th of November. So knowing that going in is going to allow you to co-create with the universe. Like don't get locked into anything that you can't get out of or understand if you're submitting something or saying something, you may have to walk it back or adjust it because you're going to get more information down the road. Keep that in mind. Now, on November the 3rd, we have Mars opposing Pluto. Now, this is an intense energy, and it's going to be hitting in an area of your life, things that you love without condition, people, places, and things. This could be children, relationships, entrepreneurships, a passionate, creative thing that you are really connected to. And whatever this energy is, you have danced close to it, or you've been through this in June of 19 and June of 2021. That's when we had this tug of war energy. But it's more intense now because Mars and Pluto are at the 29th degree, asking you to completely finish this story and step into another one. There's a sense of urgency to it, but don't let that fool you. It's not something that you're going to be able to resolve within a day or two. These energies, because Pluto is moving into Aquarius and Mars is in its shadow moving back and forth, we're going to be unpacking this all the way into March of next year. So it's not a sprint, it's a marathon, but you're job here is to really dig within and ask yourself, what have I learned about the situation? Where do I release power? Where do I balance power? What is important to me? And what do I want to fight for? And why do I want to fight for it? And am I fighting for the sake of fighting? Or am I fighting because I have a passionate energy around this topic? Now, on this same energy day, we also have Venus opposing Jupiter. So this is going to be a big energy for you, too, because it has to do with your career and your home life. So this is like that home work-life balance. You're going to feel that tug of war in every corner. And you're thinking, okay, well, this is Venus and Jupiter. Those are the two benefics. Those are good energies, and they are. But one of the things you want to be aware of with this energy is that overwhelm or overextending or if something seems too good to be true, when it comes to your career or big changes at your home and how it's going to impact your life, give it a second look. We don't want to get so wrapped into the tension of that Pluto and Mars that we're looking for a way out and we take the first one that we see because there's going to be a lot of opportunities and you want to dial into the one that really works best for you. The day after that, the sun is going to trine with Saturn, who is in your sign. This is a lot within the first couple of days. That sun trine Saturn is an indicator of some things you're going to be ready to move forward with later in the month on November the 15th when Saturn gets out of retrograde. So though there's a lot of turmoil and opportunity, there is also a very structured and balanced way that really is aligned with that is aligned with your convictions and your personal beliefs and your passions that you can lean into. And again, that new moon is going to help you set the intentions to go in that direction. Now, on November the 3rd, that I'm telling you, those first couple of days are intense. We do have Mars moving into Leo, but keep in mind that's temporary. Mars is in its shadow. It's going to go retrograde very soon. It's going to just go into the first degrees of Leo, and it's going to go back into that passionate area of your life. So there are some passionate Marsy 
actions that you're trying to take that you will be walking back and looking at again. Knowing that up front is going to help you co-create. Now, on November 11th, Venus is going to move into Capricorn. So this is going to bring a lot of grounded, practical, but action-oriented energy when it comes to alliances, friend groups, connections, your dream, your wish, the, the partnerships that you need and the mindset that you need to work with that energy. So definitely look for that. Now, on the 15th, again, that's when Saturn goes direct. So you're going to be ready to take action towards some of the things you've been trying to build, especially around your brand or every corner of your life. Having Saturn in your sign has maybe made you feel a little bit isolated at times, but it needed you to be isolated in order to understand what needed to end and what was ready to begin. Now, on the same day of that, of Saturn moving forward, we have a full moon in Taurus. Now, there's a couple of interesting components to this full moon. Now, one, it's in Taurus, so it's ruled by Venus, and Venus is going to be working with Capricorn, which is a very grounded and practical sign, but it's alliances. So I do think there could be some pretty big news on a local environment or in the social groups that you're connected with on this day, because full moons bring big, big emotions. You're going to feel a building in before we get to the 15th, and it's because we planted those seeds with the new moon, and now we're starting to see what is coming up, what, what we planted, and there's things that sometimes we're going to be like, you know what, I really wanted to let that grow. And I'm so excited about that. You're ready to explore it. But there's going to be some things in that moonlight that you're going to be like, I, don't, I didn't want that. I need to let go of that. You'll, you'll work towards letting go of that after the full moon. But this full moon is also conjunct Uranus. And Uranus likes to bring sudden unexpected breakthroughs, shifts, and changes. So there could be very unexpected, big emotional news that comes in maybe around siblings, how you think about something, you can have an epiphany something in your local environment with this full moon energy. But it's definitely going to be one that's going to be hard. And it could be that there are some friend groups or some things that you're going to have to shift out of or that come suddenly into your life. And when they come into your life, they just open up how you think about things in a completely different way. So be mindful of that energy. Start thinking about it as early as you can because you're going to see those early indicators. You're going to see the hints from the universe as we get closer to that full moon on the 15th. Now, Pisces and Pisces rising is you have a traditional ruling planet, which is Jupiter, and you have a modern ruling planet, which is Neptune. And on November the 18th, they are both in a trine. And I love this for you because the sun is going to trine Neptune on the 18th and Mercury is going to trine Jupiter on the 18th. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that Neptune and Jupiter are in retrograde and Mercury is in its shadow during this period of time. So it's going to be as if you understand like a bit of a nostalgia energy that I have been this far. If I go back a little bit, if I go back to what I love, I'm going to know how to go forward. I'm going to be able to capture the dream, the vision, and I'm going to be able to expand in the way that I want to. So definitely look for that flowing energy around the 18th. Now on the 19th, the very next day, you're definitely going to be feeling this before then. Pluto is going to leave Capricorn for the final time in your lifetime and move into Aquarius. Now, this is a very potent energy because Pluto is going to go from that social sector that you've been working with, really trying to give you your personal empowerment when it comes to your dreams and your allies into a very subliminal, private, subconscious, behind the scenes area. It's all about mind and body balance, but it's also connected to your family, your roots, your legacy, your ancestry, the, the, those deep financial commitments that you have. And you're going to understand where you have power, where you surrender power, what you need to release. There's going to be a lot of big endings, a lot of big beginnings a progression on the inside. And you've definitely flirted with this energy. Pluto touched on it earlier this year and last year when it went to the zero degree, but now it's there for good and for true. And it's all about that empowerment within that you're working on. Now, on November the 21st, the sun is going to move into Sagittarius. So this is definitely going to highlight your overall reputation and how you're known in the world. But again, this is moving into that same area that Mercury is going to retrograde through. So it could be that when the sun comes in there, you start to see some things that you want to change. And then when Mercury moves into retrograde on the 25th, you're ready to take those actions. All right, Pisces, I hope you have a great month. Now, remember, if you like to go deeper and dive in, you can definitely check out the Moon Gateway membership. It's less than $5 a month. You get discounts on working with me, but you also get a calendar with all of these transits and little mini horoscopes waiting for you inside of that. And then, of course, we have the dailies on the channel as well. All right, see you next time.